All right, and let's go ahead and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shark and Bear, and welcome to the channel where today we're playing some more Sands of Aura. In our last episode, we went sailing through the dunes of Talamel and finally made our way to the Black Rot Chasm. Uh, we went down one wing of the Black Rot Chasm, but this place is fairly large, so we ended up finding a shortcut back to the Resonance Bell. And now, after doing some upgrades back in the bell of the... Uh, in Starspire, I managed to unlock myself another talisman slot as well as upgrade some of my gear. I believe I did another weapon upgrade, so our weapon should be a little bit stronger. I did also invest some points into some of our spells we were using, so we'll see if that helps us at all clear some of the tougher enemies that are in here. That being said, we're going to continue our journey, so if you like the content and you want to see more Sands of Aura, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. As always, I hope everyone is having a great day. I know I am. At the recording of this video, whenever this goes live, it is actually my sixth wedding anniversary. So, you know, my, my wife doesn't technically watch these videos, but just in case she ever decides to check in, uh, I love you, honey. Happy anniversary. And uh, we're actually celebrating today. I will be getting my first tattoo ever, which is something I'm very excited about. So, uh, yeah, good day this is will be. So let's go ahead and jump into it, that being said. And uh, let's see if we get some payoff from our new and improved weapon. Why can't I hit this guy? We took a lot of extra damage there from not being able to hit enemies on stairs. Uh, and ring a bell. But we should still be fine. I think there's a couple of more of those little spine enemies right over here. Oh, looks like they can't shoot over the side, maybe. Oh, okay. And I tried already. I have the talisman that lets you reflect magical properties back at enemies. Uh, but that does not seem to affect those spines at all. So that kind of sucks. Um... I was really hoping that would help out a bit. Turns out it's not going to. That's okay though. We'll uh, we'll make our own way. I can't remember if there was another way over here somewhere we were down. I know that we came from the stairs. Oh, there's a pair of stairs. I don't think we went upstairs. Oh. Oh, hello. And I, I think I got the one that... Oh, yeah, I upgraded our pommel. That was one of the other things we did. I now have the Bloody Mess Pommel, which 25% hit chance to deal 100% more damage. I feel like that was going to be a fairly good pickup, so I did pick that up. Uh, we got some Echo Bells there. That's where we came from. Did we miss anything? It doesn't look like we missed anything from coming that direction. I don't think. We'll find out. I'll go around this corner. If this is like a, a straight hallway, I think there really isn't much. Yeah. No, there's nothing that way. All right, so we'll go around here. We'll go back down. And there should be a pair of stairs we passed by on our way over here. I have taken quite a bit of chunky damage here. So I'll definitely try to make sure we don't take any more and reserve some of our uh, bells a little bit better. Looks like there's a pair of stairs right here. Yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. That could have been a risky play. But it is fine. Uh, and over here, we're overlooking that area. So who is this? Engulfed in a pit of rotting decay, Ahashara sits with eyes cl uh, closed eyes, tendrils of mire claws of the age-worn robes which adorn them. With the wave of fabric inlays a jade gleam in the dim light, despite the situation, the Hashara plays a somber melody upon a ragged instrument. Are you hurt? Leaning into the melody which blooms the instrument, the Hashara sways as to avoid your words. The motion has caused the mire to rise further. Can I help you out here? 
As if emerging from a deep sleep, the Hashar appears briefly in your direction before pivoting the instrument to her side. Pull the Hashara from the mire. The Hashara stands before you, muck saturating their robes with narrowed eyes. They appear at your blade. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm with the Remnant Order. The Hashara's gaze rises to meet yours. Placing a hand over their mouth, they shake their head gently. You can't speak. The Hashara nods in affirmative. Does this belong to you? Show her the unsealed letter. Taking the letter from you, the Hashar unfolds it gently, leaning towards you. The Hashar runs a finger under the portion of the script which reads, Veksha, the speechless. Are you Veksha? The Hashar bows. What are you doing here? The Hashar hands you back the letter, pressing it firmly into your hand. You should return the way I came. Oh, right. Well, could we have come up here the whole... I never even noticed that web. We could have come up here the whole time. Okay. So we we freed somebody there. I that's where we came from. So unless we missed like another path, I think we've uncovered everything on this side. Oh, that felt good. Popped him so bad he popped up in the air. That's nice. I like it. All right, so to me that tells me that we've uncovered everywhere on this side of the map, lest we forgot something somewhere. We could try going back the way we came up here just to say we made sure. But I was thinking there was more to this side, but it looks like maybe we did do all of this side. There's nothing up here that we missed, right? No walkways, no anything. No secret walkways, that's for sure. And we can't jump down on any of that web. I'm almost certain that's death. That does not look like a solid foundation, you know? And there were no enemies on here that I can recall. <laughs> oh my god! We popped him straight in the booty. I love the bloody mess that it's leaving behind whenever we smack them down. All right, so there's, okay, so we're over in the overhang. And, okay, so we can see everything over here. It doesn't look like we have anywhere else we can go here. So it looks like we're heading on back to the resonance bell. And to save us time, echo bell. So now we got that. Oh, the Hashar is here. The Shara pauses her playing and waits patiently. Goodbye. All right, so now we have uh, basically a new friend here. We can choose to go this direction now and check out the other side. All right, um, is this the... Okay, yeah, this is the way. This is the, well, this is the, the way we haven't been. Want to make sure I wasn't heading for the exit on accident. So we can go straight, left, or right. I see something purple over there in the distance. Maybe a new upgrade? Well, not new upgrade material, but some of the purple upgrade material. Can we lure just one? Okay, yeah. Definitely make it easier to fight the other one. Where are you going? Come on. Okay. Ow. Ouch. That's okay. That's still a better outcome. We weren't taking a lot of damage there. I'm assuming this is a, a purple Sacramite. Yep. Sacramite Shard. I need like seven more to upgrade. We see an area over there we haven't been to. I guess it's something on the other side of the wall once we bring that door down. And that whole entire floor right there looks like death. So we're not going there. But before we climb those stairs, we'll go over here to the left side. Clear out these guys. Stop. 
744 damage for critical strength right there. That is just nasty. Um, doesn't seem to be anything on this side other than the fact that we got some free glint for those kills. We'll go up the stairs and see what we have over here. Oh, we got another one of these guys. Can he get down the stairs? He can get down the stairs. All right, sir, I'm gonna need you to calm your tits. All right, he's dead. We got him. I want to know how he got down those stairs without fumbling all over the place. Can we get on any of these? I love it whenever you can like not glitch out of the map, but whenever you can take advantage of terrain like this. Maybe get a, bit a sight on something you couldn't see before. It doesn't look like there's anything to gain from coming up here though. Not this way. Ah! You bastard. Those guys are dead already. Ow! Stop! Alright. Keep going. There's a dead one of those guys up there. Please stay dead. It would be nice if he did that. Uh, doesn't look like... Oh. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this guy's body. That is highly unfortunate. I can't even jump. Uh, looks like we have to Echo Bell out of here. I don't think it resets anything for us. I think we just teleport. Well, we have seven bells back, so something tells me. Maybe... Maybe the enemies did respawn. And that's the case, then we're just gonna take the stairs. Hopefully we don't have to deal with Big Bad anymore. Do we? Oh, we do. Oh, but he did, so we're good. Let's see if we can uh, not get hit by one of these guys right here. Jerk. There we go. Do not jump up to the left side. Got it. I hear enemy noise. All right, you got some of the those roachling things, whatever the hell those are, whatever you want to call them. Evil Scyther. Looks like we have a medallion. Oh, hello. Where did they come from? They explode. Ow. So those can shake their little rumps and call in the, the whole dance squad. I don't like that. third we didn't have to fight several of those all right another sacrifice shard I think we're hopefully we're good for now uh looks like we have a point for aura is that thing alive is that an enemy oh shit there's an enemy there
I can't tell if that thing's alive. See that mark there? That's the mark of the endless. Hashari legend states that a larva born with that mark would usher in a new era of glory as the reincarnation of the Weaver of Eternity. Imagine being told one day you're someone other than yourself. I couldn't do it. Well, yeah, I mean, that'd be a hard pill to swallow. But they left money for us, so that's really all we have to concern ourselves with. Uh, we can go up. The sacrifice shard there. And another sacrifice shard there. How many do we have? If we get seven, we can upgrade our weapon again. We don't have the ability to upgrade our armor just yet. Guess we'll have to figure out how to get up there to that top side. Oh, yeah? You're just gonna cheat, huh? Try to use... Oh, wow. That thing has some definite verticality there. Wait. Alright. Getting me any, any enemies around, poking the nose where they shouldn't be? All these little bilia hanging out of the ground make me think that there's a enemy hidden somewhere Ophelia? Cilia Cilia, that's what I'm thinking of, like the little stomach thingies at least we got some more sacrifice shards, how many is that? six, I'm one off from being able to upgrade my weapon another time and I think that puts my weapon at plus 17 I think 16 either way, it's, it's a pretty substantial bonus I'm just going up. There's an entire side of this area that we have not even looked at. I mean, technically you can see it from here. So here on this other side, any enemies? Uh, I cannot tell. Go behind the rocks. Well, lots of glint, good. I'm not going to spend it until I need to upgrade, though, because I learned my lesson when I lost a crap ton of money at the Colossus of Radiance. I'll never get that back. Um, alright, so nothing up here. Let's go ahead and head back down. Looks like we have a bridge over there we can cross. Uh, there's like ominously oh hello i was gonna say there's ominously a lack of enemies here but there we go there's one right in front of us ow <gasps> what was that did the ground just break below me what kind of horse shit is that? Well, okay. Maybe it, maybe the ground didn't break? I don't know. That looked like it like the ground literally crumbled underneath me. I'm not even gonna fight this guy right here. I'm gonna just try to do that. I'll distract him with that. I'm really peeved. And then these guys think they can just fight me whenever. I'll have you know I have better places to be. Now, as regarding to these guys, though. Oh, this one's coming up. Nah, I'm doing it. I'll, uh, I'll give them the old, uh, distraction. Hopefully they won't come up here. Why, why are you going further up? You weirdos. You missed. Uh, 
All right. So we'll go this way. Is he still following? They're both still following. These guys have an agenda. All right, where's my money? You guys shouldn't have come here. All right, there's a thousand. Have fun with that. We got the Oni leggings. Nice. <laughs> Sucker. Hopefully he can't get up here. Can he stay in there as long as he wants? Where does that break? If he just wants to hang out over there, he can. I'm not going to stop him. Is there anything below me? It looks like there's a walkway over there, but I don't see... I don't see anything. What's our... Ow. Oh, Sacramite. I'll take it. Oh, there's another one over there. A piece of candy. Hello, piece of candy. Um, anything from going down this? There are... No. I thought maybe we could bring those. I have a feeling that this is a bridge that goes somewhere. Oh my god. Are there six of those big bastards right there? Eight of them. Jesus, I don't want to go over there. That's terrifying. Um, I do want this piece of candy now. That was really our first bell. Nice. I guess we did run through a lot of stuff out there. We do have a thing here, though. What is this? Mark scavenge location. Oh, we got another cash for um, Galena. And then I see something other golden over there in the distance. What happens if we go up here? Where's this lead to? Hello, guy. I was willing to take that hit. I want to know if we could squash him with our upgraded weapon. That's yeah, okay. And I think this is the lower side where we were at. Dude, Captain is, uh, is he still, got, is he still stonewalled up? He is still stonewalled up. Okay. Uh, we can go over here. We didn't go up here earlier. Not that way. This way into the right. Nothing hidden. more stairs we have a chalice now I do want the chalice eep eep up there we go chalice gained we got another big end over there no reason to drop down from here now that I can tell. Oh, there is a blue sacramite sliver down there. That's that is a that is a guesstimate of what that is down there. We have a big dude here. We can bypass him. I heard something. I don't see any buggy dudes. Uh, what do we have here? 
synod of sovereigns composed of three statues, though one has been defaced. A broken placard reads, in honor of those dedicated to the Hashara above all else. Nice. The oh. sister maiden, whose eyes reflect an emerald duty to her people, Atiana, the sister ensuing, whose gaze is always upon the crimson sword of strength, and Rathani, the sister triennial, whose patience forever awaits the violet bloom of the weaver of eternity. All right. I don't know why, but the audio seems like it's... My... No, everything is good. I just felt like the audio for that was a little bit lower than I remember. So is this a... a puzzle? I'm gonna assume it's a puzzle. We've got an Echo Bell. I do love those. Alright, so... Activate the Sister of the Maiden. Can we turn them at all? Oh, I see. Ensuing. All right, let's read this again. A dedication to the sister maiden, Atiana, the sister ensuing, whose gaze is always upon the ensuing is red. of strength. And Rathani, the sister triennial, whose patience Rathani is purple. the violet... All right, so Sister Maiden Triennial is purple. So that's got to be that over there. And this one is green, the Sister Maiden. There we go. And from that we have... The Aeon Crest enacted, the base of a circular crest emblazoned with a darkened seal. That was a fairly easy puzzle to get through. Much easier than the other puzzles we've encountered so far. So now we'll head back on over... I wonder if there's anything on the outside of the ring. How far can we go around this thing? Ooh, there's a lot of stuff down there. Is... Is there another puzzle over here? Or... Oh, or is there just some glint we missed? Looks like there's some glint we missed over there. A whole bunch of scriptures of the Lisas. 2,500 glint. Nice. Looks like I have to go back to the middle again because we somehow walked right past some free glint. walk super slow so he doesn't notice us he, oh it's him who makes the skittering noise we heard earlier so just being near him we hear ambient noises i get it sacramite sliver okay so not glint but slivers that's okay that'll help us upgrade some other stuff here in the future if we want to try a different set of armor or whatever we'll bypass this guy and there was something down here there was. Can I fall down here without taking a crap ton of damage? No. The answer is no. You will take a crap ton of damage. If you do what I did, but just drop like a dummy. Um. Oh, well. Uh, I think we've been everywhere else we can be over here. Oh, I'll hop right down, and then we'll take the stairs... Oh, there's a chest. Wait, am I somewhere else than I... Where am I? Oh, okay, I see. Why can't I open chest? Weird? Oh, I see... Um, hello. And in trying to open that chest, I see a purple... Sacramite sliver. Sacramite shard. All right, so, question. How do we get down further? Do we need to go back to... 
our... Do we need to go back to the the other place? No, the resonance bell? Let's go up. I swear I thought I saw another pair of stairs to go somewhere. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, I'll go up higher just a little bit just so we can get a bird's eye view of the area. So that's where that rock guy is, defend, doing his best to defend his country uh, within the realms of his rock wall. And although, yeah, I think this is a dead end. I think we've discovered everything over here. We need to head back to the other area. Doesn't look like there's any purpose for any of this. These guys don't do anything. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. There isn't a way to go down. Right here. Okay. But that's not going to give us much. It's just... Oh, well, I mean, it was something. It was a chalice. But it wasn't the way down. And I don't see another round. And I'm almost certain that's death. And I'm not willing to gamble on it. So we'll go ahead and echo bell out of here. Let's see. A grand door segmented into many panels. There is an indentation within the center. The dial fits perfectly into the indentation. Oh. A gra the, the Okay, so we don't have all... Oh my god, I almost walked on the side. An extended hand is likely for I, the remnant knight, must... Let's see what she says now that we put in that thing. Oh, she gave us the crest. Uh, taking the crest in her hands, the Hashara lets it linger there, rubbing her fingers over the delicate emblem. You notice how the once darkened portion of the crest begins to resonate with a dim glow until it becomes vibrant enough to put a light upon the Hashara's face. She hands it back to you. Thank you. Alright, now we can open up that door. But before we do that... Starsmire Refuge. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I know that I can upgrade my weapon now... Plus, I was just a few scriptures short from being able to equip another talisman, and I'd like to spend the money I have right now before I lose it to something stupid like I did in the previous episode. So I'm going to do that. Oh, also, we can turn in the stuff to Galena. And this will actually get us to the, the next level. Oh, wow, that's a resource we haven't seen before. So that is the highest we're going to be able to upgrade our weapon for now. What about... We we can't... We couldn't even upgrade this even if we wanted to, though. Because uh, even though we have insufficient glint, we were still looking for something for our armor master to utilize. So go up to Galena real quick. See if she's got anything new we can buy. Come take a look. What's this? We'll trade in her. Oh, she's got a new pommel. Focus damage. When attacking the closest enemies, take an additional 100% damage from for each enemy within attack range. All other enemies take no damage. So you can no longer cleave, but you can focus a target and kill them much faster. That's actually pretty cool. Um, She's got no new scriptures, Elisis. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. And I'm gonna buy the rest of her echo. Or I'm gonna buy the other echo bells. I'm gonna make myself go broke. Well, young I am okay with that. I'd rather be broke. 
All right. Um, let's go ahead and turn in the scriptures we did find, because I think it was just enough to get us to the next tier. I'm going to take off the reflective bell, because I don't think we found... You know, you know, I might not take it off. We'll see. Boom. Another and another one. Now we have two more slots. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Um, let's see. Reducing damage by 10%. Uh, any points damage take while blocking. Nope, we don't do the blocking. Uh, gain 20% more glint. I might be swayed into... Ooh, dust fall. I would actually kind of like a feather fall option. Um... I'm going to actually use the feather fall option. Do we have another one that we can use? Like a the bear will dodge roll twenty percent further. We'll do that. And now we can return back to the place, a black rot chasm, and open the door up, and uh, have to deal with eight of those. Uh, giant dudes hopefully those are there for looks so we don't have to fight all eight of them that would be very rough walls on walls on walls all right and we are the back let's go ahead and open this door a grand door set yes i know we're opening it Oh, that door turned just like how I take the top off of an Oreo. Lucky you. This avoids us having to get our hands dirty. What do you mean? Had these survived, Talamel would break under the weight of this nursery alone. And even between the two of us, it would be a challenge hauling a clutch this size to the cinder hold. Yet we must persist. The Hashara are a plague which sustains itself within the fissures of darkness. We cannot rest until we've forced them into the light. Take advantage of the Hashara there. She might provide some insight into how we should progress deeper. Let's yes. see. No, I'm not really willing to ask about that. He seems like a fairly dangerous person on his own. With his own agenda, we're just going to stick with what that is. Ooh, big blue, blue thingy. Hello. Vex the speechless. Approaching a ruined clutch, the Shara gently scoops a fractured ovum into her arms. Thousands of tiny pores shimmer along its crest, scattering faint light upon the room. At its base, flowering decay breaks through several layers of soiled membrane. Lifting her gaze slowly, she peers at the hundreds of shattered ovum through the room. Her face shows no pain, only reflection. I am sorry. She seems almost in a different place at a different time. Do you know what happened? Brushing her hand over the fractured ovum, the Hashara pulls from its th a thread of crimson rot. Her eyes then follow a current which runs along the stone platform upon which you stand. It is a river of rot which pulsates as it leads away from you and into the darkness. The Hashara points towards it as if suggesting for you to follow. So if we follow that, we're going to find the source of the rot that killed all the Hashara babies. I see an enemy on the other side of the wall over there, but... Is that somewhere we've been before? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's... That's back to me. Oh, yeah! We peered over that wall before! Uh, let's... Let's go the way towards the rot. I kind of feel bad, not gonna lie. Into the darkness. Nothing over there. Hey, I know this. I've seen this bridge. Yeah, I was wondering how we'd get over here. Oh, crap. Oh. Ha 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 
<laughs> All right, looks like we're at the rot. Despite the many volatile growths within their catalog, there was one species, one strain which was outlawed, one whose potency and propagation exceeded even the best Hashari agronomist, the Elder Bloom. The Elder Bloom? Oh, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Okay, apparently I don't have to sneeze. Also, oh, I got Oh, my nose. What are you doing to me, buddy? Do I have to sneeze or not? Okay, it's gone. No one tells me what to do, not even my own body. I decide when you do the things. All right, well, that was much easier to kill that thing with our new upgraded weapon. Well, that felt about the same. Um, we have some stairs there. We know there's enemies around the corner. Maybe I should drop here and get the drop on them. Oh wait, that's much lower than I thought it was. Never mind. Maybe I can do a sneaky sneak. Oh my god. <laughs> we did like a thousand damage right there. Directly registered to that uh, that creature's booty hole. I assume they have working booty holes. Go this way. I don't know if we go around the corner. This one's lint. 2,500 in the bank. They turned our back. They're back towards us. Oh my god. We took out that Reaper. That's what I'm going to call them. Reapers. Come over here. Thank you. That was tracking. I saw that. Nothing cheated. money nice I don't think we got hit by any of those um anything on this side I'm not gonna try to make that jump but I do recall that we did pick up the the feather fall thingy um nowhere to go below us nothing this side Is a normal hit for 300 that wasn't even like a critical uh okay this looks like to be source of corrupted and this must this has to be an optional area obviously or maybe not obviously maybe it isn't an optional area but if i were a bet man which i've lost almost every single bet i've made with this game so far i would say this is optional echo bells i do love I do love me some Echo Bells. Oh, we got a biggin. Hello, biggin. Um, I'm gonna ring a bell. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I like it when they shield up. Because we do the poise damage. Easily. We got a lot of these guys here. Okay, well, that was a lot better than I thought that was fight was going to turn out to be. It got sloppy there for a second. I wasn't trying to pull every enemy within the zip code, but I did. But oh well. And for our reward, we got a turtle replica, an augmented gland composed of an anterior and something blah blah blah. Apparently, it didn't want to give me enough time to read all of it. I have a feeling that maybe we need to take this back to uh, what's or nuts. So I think we'll do that. I don't think there's anywhere else. Was there anywhere else we could go upstairs? We'll find out real quick. Ooh, anything back here? <gasps> Ooh, yes. I love finding little hidden bits everywhere. I like the roll too, because it makes me feel like I'm doing a Hadouken with my body. Um, honestly, we probably could echo build this, but I was doing this more or less. We uh, missed something, which, from what I can tell, we did not. So, good on us. You know, we're pretty much back there, anyways. The Jara sits quietly here, palms over, turning her lap. She alternates from gazing in her hands to staring at a story clutch littered in the room, show the turtle replica. The Shara glances briefly at the replica before letting her gaze carry across the room. A private silence follows until she raises her hand slowly and points in the direction of a ruined path just near Kazum. Alright. Well, he's, he's that way. But what if we go this way? Hmm? What happens? Oh, God. That's not terrifying at all. I am gonna not go that way yet. I feel like this is also a door. I'm gonna check something real quick though. Give me just one moment. Come on, phone. Okay, I think we're good. I thought someone messaged me. Well, no. That was a lie. No one ever messages me. Ooh, we got two Reapers. One in the wings, one directly in the middle of the room. But we can opt to circumvent them, which is nice. But. I'm about to say. Mama don't raise no bitch, but to be fair, Mama didn't raise me that much anyway, so I'm just gonna go around. Alright. Anything over here. Those stairs are blocked off, but we got another pair of stone stairs here. And within the confines of this very circular area with very dastardly enemies. We await our death. Oh, we can lure him away. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, yes, yes. I like it when you do that. And yes, please do this again. Oh, no. oh my god. That was not what I wanted. <gasps> No! Alright. I kind of maybe asked for that. I disrespected him, so he disrespected me back. He said tag your it, and then, and then threw out a bitch as he pushed me over the side. I won't fault him for the foul play. At least we're not that very far away from where we were. 
I was trying to... I was actually trying to uh, bait out another one of the charges, but I ran out of relic charges or spell light charges. All right, let's do this again, this time without the dying. Can we do that? There's one down. Only took a slight hit from that one. I don't like the idea of fighting them in this thing though. Let's hit him in the backside. Who are those? It's very dangerous in this room. Oh, it does open up the doors. Okay, so we do have doors open up on the side. Now, what is this over here? Is this another piece of armor? It is. We now have three of the four pieces of the Oni armor. Not trying to show up on the dice and slice menu over here. Um, nothing to be gained over there. I follow this around on this side. Anything to gain behind? He seems like somewhere someone would want to hide something, right? There's a large walkway there so nothing over here but I totally feel like I could jump down there matter of fact it looks like I'm supposed to I am gonna go the legit way first and then we'll jump down that way afterwards Is it me or does it seem very dangerous in itself? This, this, this area is massive. This is a device meant to keep someone strapped down. And there's something written here. To dine upon the elder is to prove your dedication to the nymph Perusia. To refuse is to expose yourself a heretic to the Baron Queen. Okay. The Codex of the Hashari. Oh, we got another Codex. What does that one give us? Your attacks cause enemies to bleed for 25% of the damage dealt over 5 seconds. So instead of them moving, they immediately bleed. Okay. That, that could definitely be interesting. Uh, do we... We do not get over there. So, do we do anything with these? Or is that just, uh, to get that co codex? I don't see another way for us to go. I think we've done everything we need to do from there. So we'll go ahead and head across the bridge. I see a lower area down there. I'm pretty sure that's probably where we're going to head for whatever boss fight's coming up. Because, uh, believe you and me, I, I think there's a boss fight coming up. Is that where we were at for the corrupted area earlier? What is this? 
Add another echo bell. Yeah, okay, so that's the area we were just at for the corrupted stuff. What happens if we go this way? We have a reaper. this bridge or oh, not this bridge i mean i thought this was the bridge uh we saw earlier it looks like it'd be a, a way over there what is this traitor's tongue a chunk of flesh wrapped in darkened cloth extracted during a something something all right so I have a hard time believing there's much to do over here anymore. I think we're done with this area. Neener, 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 boo boo. Um, we're gonna go back the way we came. Can we go back the way we came? No, I think about we could probably go down to the corrupted area and follow that back up. But as far as going this way, I don't think we can. The traitor's tongue might help though. Or something. Yeah, no, we can't get out of there. Uh, we're, let's go ahead and ring our bell. And, uh, oh, that's right, the Hashara lady left. She's just one room ahead. And now we can. Let's talk to, um, his own or whatever his name is. Uh, let's see if we have whatever we need over here. Take advantage of the Hashara there, yes? The Hashara are formulaic. The Queen's Chamber lies always at the utmost depth of the Hive. That is our goal. But its entry will likely be guarded. Uh, you know what? I think, I think we found everything in the other direction. I think we're good. Yeah. I think we were all over there earlier. So let's try not to die. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay, so not that way. There must be something we're missing, because something tells me we wouldn't have to fight all of them. What are we? see let's look at that tongue that we got oh oh she can't speak uh back to the speak list do you recognize this give her the traitor's tongue taking the clotted foul smelling cloth the shower unwraps it many layers which began have gone stiff with age a private silence follows a fumbling. Suddenly, a magical impression can be felt in the air around you. It is weak, frail, like glass. Thank you. We do not have long. I am Veksha, the sister of Maiden. What happened to the city? Tre treason. Punished with rot, disease. Saketha, the queen, made barren, who gave birth to Scourge. Why was Saketha betrayed? Lives of dedication, only to be surpassed by the mark. Adasambara could not lead us. Adasambara? Cast of the unfortunates. How did you survive? As sisters devoured one another, I confessed our crimes. She gave birth to the scourge? Assured it would only sterilize. They said it would not. But rot seeped from her broken form. She looks again at the destroyed clutches. Such suffering for our avidity. Show her the Turgle, Turgle replica. Again, she lets her gaze carry across the room, but it catches upon the statue and lingers there. Yet maybe 
they suspected that she, even I, had not considered it. What? Hurry. You've only half. With visible effort, she lifts her hand and points. The rest waits within the room where it began. Understood. Wait, the room where it began? No, I don't understand, actually. The room where it began here? I I don't know what she means, actually. Let's look, look at the journal entry for that. Uh, let's see. He recommends you utilize the extra for more insight. It's helpful. All right, let's, let's let's speak to uh, Kazum then, because maybe he has an insight now that we you know gotten help from Vexha. Plucked from circumstance, a voice now restored. What is next, Knight? Would you hand the enemy a blade? She is not a threat to us. A beast bleeds before you, broken. There is cruelty in hesitating. And yes. Any ideas where I should go? The Hashara are formulaic. The Queen's Chamber lies always at the utmost depth of the hive. That is our goal. But its entry will likely Maybe Let's speak let's speak to her again. Such soft Yet maybe hurry. You the rest is tangled within that corrupted seed of the seminary. Corrupted seed of the seminary? I don't know what that means. Maybe we can help, help. I'm not very rich. Maybe. Oh my god. No! <laughs> oh man, look at them. They're like waiting for me. I can't even climb on all these rocks. actually killing them and that's the weird part it's like they can't even go this far or something oh why why didn't I Oh shit, I'm in trouble. Oh god, oh god, there's one on the other side. They're tackling over each other now. hilarious i'm not even sad about the glint loss honestly i think we get that back um but obviously that isn't where we're supposed to go the place where oh, the seminary that's what she said maybe there's one place we haven't gone or maybe there's a place we have gone 
Maybe we go back to the corrupted area? I'm just gonna roll on through. Oh shit. I don't think I've been over here. Oh my god. This is the worst idea ever by me. Ow. Somehow I lived. I had not come this way. I actually ran this way in fear. Only in somewhere I had not been. The oh, Oni mask. Okay, we found that. Ow. Sacramite dust. Um, but I don't see anything glowing down below, so I'm not exactly sure where we should go. Could we, maybe we need to head back to where we met Vaksha. Maybe? All right, well, let's get her, go back the way, we, you know, we came. I don't even know what rope we took to get here. Oh, yes, I do. I remember this. Okay, so we take a we took a right instead of a left, which is what we did last. Oh shit, he's back. I see where we're at now. about the the bindings area we were at the one that says something about undoing bindings there's nothing in there The pheromonic ampule. Okay, so yeah, that was it. Okay, awesome. So now we got that. Wait till you can take the thingy back here. No, wait. I'm not doing that. I'm not walking. We have a pheromone gland now that should be able to assist us with getting our next step from Vaksha. Show their harmonic ampule and the turtle replica. 
Glancing at both briefly, the Hashar then lets her gaze carry across the room until it catches upon the strange statue lingers there. Private silence falls until she extends her hand. Give her both. She takes both from you, and with a steady hand, delicately pours a murky liquid from the harmonic ambule into the chamber of the turtle replica. The once darkened gland begins to stir with a flushed glow. How unified we were in our underestimation of each other. The supplanting of the queen's scent. The rule of the castes, stolen by a synthetic gland. What do you mean? Despite their striving, the Synod did not account for all. A single hope buried with her, the child of the queen made barren. She stands slowly. Come, we must hurry. So, hopefully this means now that she has the Turgal Replica and the Pheromonic Ampule, that's going to let us bypass all these giant-ass rock scarabs and uh, not have to fight them. Which also means I have the opportunity to regain all of my uh, currency that we lost. I I think I probably enjoyed the this area more than the uh, I think uh, Black Rock Castle might be one of my favorite areas we've been to so far. Where's my money? Where's my money? Oh, it's all here, floating in the air. Actually, it's not all my money. As a matter of fact, that wasn't any of my money. Oh, you beaches. What'd you do with it? I got knocked off of here. Is it somewhere unretrievable? Well, that's just a shame. Oh well. It was only 8,000. It was, it's not the worst amount that I've lost. And at least I spent it upgrading before we ever died. Be funny if I turned around and just saw my money floating in the sky like 50 feet off the ground. This is where our path splits. I shall find penance for a friend deceived. A substance like ash begins pouring from her mouth. Please tell me there's an elevator. Okay. Not an elevator. Well, um, when in Rome? We lived! That's a big red spider thingy. Those are some spooky eyes. What's all the skeeter? Wait, was that Vaction who landed in there? No, it's not. Oh, it is! The Crown Deceiver. Oh my god. I was a fool. I thought... I don't know what I thought, honestly. Decoy didn't do his job because I was a moron.
All right, let's get over there. At least it's not a far walk. And at least they're still bowing for me. Geronimo! Alright, where's my money? What did she just blink all over the ground there? that Ooh. please don't Yeah, we definitely want to stay out of that. Oh no, we can't slide. No, 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 no. We need to not be in these webs. They get bigger. And their hitboxes are crazy. No, no. Ah, cheating. That's super cheating. Just so we're clear. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can't see. This web needs to go the F away. We've died. I don't like... I don't like this fight at all. It wasn't so bad. But then the web. And then that. Okay, so... I might try out a different tactic for weapon. Or for pommel. I'm actually going to go back to base real quick. We're not ending this episode. This might be a long episode. I'm going to down this fight this episode. I only think that the problem here is that our pommel isn't doing enough for us. Usually, usually, it would be doing something for us. But we're not having a dot on the enemy, which means anytime we're not attacking the boss, we're not accomplishing anything, right? 
So what if we change the pommel to a dot, such as the new bleed one that says that the boss doesn't even have to move. It's just 25% uh, bleed damage over five seconds. I think that would be sustainable for us. So let's go ahead and sell something. I'll get the 6,000. That should be more than enough if it's, if it's, uh, I don't think it's going to cost us more than 6,000 to re-roll for the new CODIS. What do you know? All right, we'll modify this weapon. Oh, okay. So, oh, we can do extra bleed. Oh, we can make them bleed. Oh, man. Okay. I think that's worth it. We're taking away... Oh, my God. Look at the... Look at her weapon. That's absurdly cool looking. Okay. All right. Okay. I think that that's awesome. Um. So now we have two forms of bleed. Let's go bleed this boss dry. I might even opt to lower my health in order to drink a drink before we jump down. I like the way our new axe looks. Or, not axe, halberd, spear, whatever you want to call it. This is more of a halberd, I think. So before we jump down to the bottom, we'll take a gander at what drinks we have on our inventory and see what we can do there. All right, drinks, drinky poos, where you at? We have armor penetration, armor reduced by 15%. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's do it. go there she is oh shit it gets way bigger the further you will go out okay so maybe it's actually worth it to be closer to her that bleed damage is definitely substantial nope 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 Queen ladies. Like she is taking oh she took a lot of bleed there. Might have been worth it. We can't we can't do the thing. Oh, you guys suck. Oh god. She was on her ass. You lady bitches got to die. Oh, she summoned another one. All right. Oh, I think it's it. I think we did it. Maybe. If we didn't, it's pretty damn close. Shit, I'm in a web. Yep, there we go. Oh, the bleed definitely coming out handy there. We got Sacramite Chunk, Haste Rune, and a Testament Bell. Let's talk to Aura. Spawn Projectile, nice. Knight, I have an idea. Stand back. Oh, there's two glowing yellow things in there.
the ambient ovum, an assuming ovum with an intact, intact uh, membrane. To be so fragile yet so feared. To mean something different to so many people. It deserves a chance. What? To endure a hostile world. To be feared wherever you go. At least it's the future. But to carry the weight of so much with you? I don't know if it would be kinder. Let's go. I'm gonna go with the route to save the ovum. And here's my thought process of that. You ever read Ender's Game? And if you haven't, what an amazing book. I came down here because I didn't pick up this fragment right here. Oh, cool. We got the rune and we came back up. Cool. Uh, we'll head on back down and uh, let's see what Kazoom has to say. None of these guys want to fight me. That's fine. Is Kazoom still over here? Surrender the ovum and choose who you serve. The Hashar are part of Talamo. The ovum the stays with me. Ruin it. Then it seems you're Lawrence's protege after all. Oh. He slowly raises his blade. Lawrence spared you, did he not? Would you deny the same to another? Oh shit. Did I die? Are you all right? The ovum's missing. Where is he? Gone, but I may know where he went. Remember when we first entered the nursery and Kazum mentioned the Cinderhold? He must believe the rumor to be true. What rumor? Hashari ovum are notoriously difficult to destroy. The membrane surrounding them solidifies in direct response to stress. There have long been rumors that the lava of the Cinderhold is intense enough to purge anything in Talamel. Kazum must believe that he can destroy the ovum there. All right, let's go. All right, so now we've got our updated quest. We've completed Black Rock Chasm, and our next option is to head to the center hold to uh, uh, defeat uh, Kazum and get the ovum back so we can give the Shara a fighting chance. Uh, you know, I, I firmly believe that Ender's Game is one of the best stories ever written, and especially preceding novels. And uh, this just really parodies ender's game and the thought of like xenocide probably one of my favorite uh parts of that book was the what happens to ender after the uh, the uh, end of ender's game that being said we've been going pretty long here it's almost been an hour and a half of this video thank you for sticking around this long if you've been checking it out that being said if you like the content and you want to see more sans of feel free to like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out as always i hope everyone has a great day and i will catch you all in the next episode later